seven natural powers of photography that big pharmacy doesn't want you to know about. In the last two years alone, there have been over 22 product recalls involving well over 300 million bottles of medicine, and that's just from one pharmaceutical company. Yet I would bet my last dollar that in the last month, over half of you have taken drugs produced by this company. Because big pharmacy has convinced us that popping a pill is the best remedy for what ails us, but that's just not true. As you listen to my words today, I'll prove that to you several times. Big pharmacy doesn't want you to know there are safer, more natural methods that help people live longer, happier, and healthier lives, but I'm going to tell you about them anyway because too many people are getting hurt. Marsha Rubin lost her father when she was six years old, her mom and stepdad by age 21, and her husband at age 22 when she was pregnant with her first child. Somehow, through all of that, she went on to become a professional competitor in the tournament fishing profession. She traveled the country doing what she loved and giving seminars on fishing for the sponsors who hired her. She was at the top of her game until nerve complications from back surgery left her without a voice. At age 45, without the ability to speak, her sponsors were forced to release her and she was no longer able to pursue her passion for competitive fishing or help the fans who had come to rely on her guidance. She lost the career that she loved, she lost her income, and without a voice, this once proud, successful, resourceful, and determined professional finally lost hope. For the first time in her life, Marsha was lost, isolated by her silence and deeply depressed. But this isn't a story about hardship and despair for Marsha Rubin. It's not a story about fishing either. This is a story about triumph and about the natural therapeutic powers of an activity that's as likely to be associated with medicine as kittens are to the steel industry. Photography is most often considered an art. There is no apparent connection to medicine. And that's exactly what Big Pharmacy would like you to believe. While they go about making billions each year on drugs like Xanax, Zoloft, Effexor, Wellbutrin, Prozac, Paxil, and Zyban, folks like Marsha Rubin are rebuilding their lives with photography. Marsha loved the outdoors. That's what drew her to fishing in the first place. She loved people, and that's what drew her to offering seminars. But because she could no longer talk, she found herself trying to avoid people. So she would take her camera and head out to some nature areas for taking photos. It was a great way for her to pass the time while waiting to see if the nerve damage would heal. It was a great distraction that took her mind off her troubles. In fact, it became her therapy. I spoke with Marsha recently, and she had just had her first gallery showing last month. Yes, I actually did speak with her. She has a vocal implant now and speaks very well. Without the nasty side effects and complications of prescription drugs, without the expense and without becoming a lifelong dependent on a mood pill, in her own words, Marsha says, photography has saved my life. Patrice lost her life, too, when an aging brother became invalid after surgery and required her care. If you've ever had to care for a loved one who can't care for themselves, you know how demanding that can be. You know the feeling of being trapped in a situation you can't control. But she didn't turn to antidepressant drugs. Photography became her therapeutic escape and is now becoming a second income stream for her, too. The National Institutes of Health say that one in four American adults over the age of 18, one in four adults, suffer from a diagnosable mental disorder in any given year. I know I'm not affected, so look to your left and then look to your right. In America, this great land of freedom and opportunity, one in four adults suffer from mental problems. Big Pharmacy wants us to believe drugs are the answer. But if drugs are the answer, and we have the drugs, why in the world are women aged 40 to 65 the group most likely to commit suicide? There's a disconnect, something's not right. The truth is, Big Pharmacy is not the panacea for depression. People need to know there are alternatives to drug therapy, alternatives that give hope without sedation, alternatives that excite, not numb, alternatives like photography. Hello, this is Robert Schwarztrauber from TotalFitnessPhotography.com. You've been listening to one small sample from the Photography vs. Pharmacy Report. In the full report, you'll discover remarkable case histories of people whose lives have been changed dramatically, by the simple act of taking photos. You'll learn how photography helps fight depression, boredom, lethargy, chronic pain, low self-esteem, isolation, and it helps those who are overweight lose weight naturally, without drugs. You'll see how it helps kids develop a passion for exploring this amazing planet we live on, how it helps teens find a positive outlet for expression, how it can help families find more fun times together, how it helps singles meet nice new people, and how it helps seniors Find passionate adventure and purpose. 
It can make retirement one of the best times of your life. You'll see startling statistics from my recent study of over 100 photo enthusiasts. If you've been looking for a safe, risk-free, drug-free, positive change in your life, you owe it to yourself to get the full report. You'll be amazed at how many ways photography could change your life in a flash. The report is free, and you can get your copy now at robertsphotonews.com. Thank you.